हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड माई नेम इज सिरी सो रिसेंटली इन द कम्यूनिटी पोस्ट आई वॉज यू गाइज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन जस्ट पोस्ट दैट इन द कॉमन सेक्शन सो दैट वी कैन मेक अ क्यू एन ए वीडियो सो दिस इज अ क्यू एन ए वीडियो वेर आई एल बी आंसरिंग फ्यू ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर अ डू लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव रिसीव्ड इज दैट वेन आर वी गोइंग टू सी अ ब्रदर सिस्टर डू Now I have been asking my brother to come into my videos and show his face to the camera but he is like I'll come into your videos sometime but I was like okay you have to make a video with me when we are a family of 100k so when we hit 100k I am promising you that I'm definitely going to get my brother into the video and we'll make a brother sister video for sure so this is the answer to that one question i mean the first question that has been asked to me the second question is how to speak in front of people in an easy way now uh, as far as my experience is concerned i always consider speaking in front of people as an opportunity to convey my ideas to people so when you look at that situation as an opportunity the kind of mindset you have is going to be very different because you want to convey your ideas so you would obviously be excited to do that so the nervousness of yours is of course going to be very low when you consider this when you consider that situation as an opportunity so this is that one tip that i can give you which is to consider that entire situation as an opportunity not as an obligation okay this is that one tip i can definitely give you when it comes to this particular question question number 3 is that how to improve pronunciation skills now all i can tell you is that try to speak more and more the more you speak the better your pronunciation is going to be because the way i pronounce words now is completely different from the way i used to pronounce words back then you can watch my first ever video on youtube uh, in which i pronounced words in a very different manner now i have improved a lot so it happens with time when you speak more and more your pronunciation is obviously going to improve you can try singing a lot of english songs because of which your pronunciation can improve a lot so all you can do is to speak more and just try to habituate your mouth to speak out english more so that you can pronounce better so this is how you can improve pronunciation skills to number 4 is that what's your health secret i was quite surprised to receive this question i was not expecting this question the health secret is nothing but balance i have mentioned this uh, in one of my previous videos as well it's all about finding balance in the food that you eat drinking lots and lots of water i'm tired of mentioning this and i take a lot of healthy food a uh, lot of greens so i think that helps me a lot to stay healthy and always try to stay hydrated because of which your problems are going to be get solved i mean health related problems so hydration is extremely important and trying to involve yourself into some kind of physical activity dancing skipping or something like that and always trying to avoid oily junk fried and all of that is actually going to help you once in a while maybe it's fine but not always it's all about finding balance so that's what i do i'm very conscious about what i'm eating when i'm eating so i think that's what always uh, helps me to stay healthy so this is my health secret Question number five is that I get stuck while speaking in English. This question has uh, has been asked to me several times. I mean, in in the comment section itself, a lot of people have asked this question. So I get stuck while speaking in English. I've made a separate video on this topic. Maybe I'll leave the link of that particular video in the description below. You can check it out if you want to. But if you want to give me an answer. in just a one line answer is that do not worry about what people are going to think about you because when you think about what people would think about you there is going to be a lot of change in your mindset 
you're constantly worrying about your own self you're constantly worrying about the opinion that you carry in people's mind because of which you have a lot of nervousness to speak because of which you get stuck while speaking in english so the only solution in my opinion is that you don't have to care about what people are going to think about your english so this can help you to not to get stuck while speaking in english question number 6 is that how to overcome anxiety now i can personally relate a lot with this topic because i continuously face anxiety a lot in my life but of course we cannot stick with it we have to overcome it we have to do something which can make us get rid of it so what i do is i try to indulge myself into some kind of activity now i believe when you are not doing any work that's when you tend to overthink that's when you tend to get anxious about unnecessary stuff in your life so when you are trying to give some work to your mind when you are trying to put yourself into some kind of work you don't have time to think about everything so you're completely trying to involve yourself into that work so that is one of the ways to get rid of anxiety in my opinion that's what i do whenever i'm feeling anxious i try to divert myself by doing some work be it reading a book be it trying to prepare content or something or the other i try to keep myself busy all the time of course i try to give myself time as well to analyze myself but there is a limit to it getting anxious and all of that you have to work on it and you have to remember the fact that it happens with everybody and we just have to try to find our own way to deal with it for me trying to keep myself uh, busy all the time can help me to get rid of anxiety in your case it could be something different so you have to analyze that for yourself so this is what i can talk about this topic if i can actually talk about this topic in a entire video maybe i'll make a video on it but this is what i can say for this video question number 7 is that if i am a beginner to learn english how can i start everything from scratch like from zero level this is the question so all i can tell you is that do not try to focus on grammar extremely when you are a beginner you have a lot of content to consume where people tell you that you have to focus on speaking writing listening and reading so try to make a schedule for yourself where you are focusing on four of these aspects right from the beginning because that is going to help you eventually all right try to focus more on speaking try to consume as much as content you can especially in english and listening is extremely important so this is how you can start as a beginner because that's how i started and that's what helped me a lot to be fluent in english to speak better english all right so try to indulge yourself into practical ways of learning english by listening writing reading and speaking which is the most important thing do not confuse your mind with a lot of grammar because when you are a beginner we are confused as to where to start how to start and all of that but i am telling you do not confuse your mind with a lot of grammar a grammar you are going to learn eventually in the process but right in the beginning do not give that stress to your mind start with simple things like speaking only 10 minutes a day consuming content which is of let's say 20 minutes okay try to read one page or try to listen to any one episode of podcast like simple tasks that you can give to your mind which can be improved later so this is how you can start from zero level the number 8 is that many people have been asking me about vlogs um i have been quite skeptical about this particular topic because i do not know if you people are going to like my vlogs so you guys let me know do you actually want me to make vlogs i am quite interested so you let me know in the comment section would you guys actually want to see vlogs from my channel uh, what i can assure you is that i start vlogging that is definitely going to be in english so you don't have to worry about that so i can assure you that so you guys let me know in the comment section i'll be waiting for your comments whether you guys want 
vlogs from my channel or no if you guys want it i am more than happy to do it so please do let me know in the comment section question number 9 is that who edits your videos <clears throat> so i recently started to edit my videos prior to that i used to not edit my videos it your it all used to be in one take i start speaking and i just uh, end the video that's it there were no takes no cuts nothing in the video but i have decided that um, maybe i should uh, start editing in order to produce some good content and i edit videos by myself um, to shoot videos i take help of my brother sometimes and when there's no one i'll shoot my videos and editing it will be taken care by me because of course i want to learn how to edit videos so i'm in the initial stages of learning how to edit videos so i am the one who edits my videos so yes this is the answer for that question question number 10 is that what's your daily routine when you're at home um i cannot uh, answer this question in maybe 1 minute because it takes a lot of time because i do a lot of things in a day so if you guys want a video on this particular topic a detailed video i can make that video for you guys or else i can make a vlog showing my daily routine i mean when i'm at home when i'm not going to college so all i can tell you is that my day definitely consists of shooting at least one video i try my best to shoot one video a day i try to do that whenever i am at home and i try to read something and i plan for my videos i edit my videos so these are the common things that are there anyhow they are going to be there in my day no matter what i am doing the remaining rest of the things maybe i can mention that in any of the other videos where i'll be talking about my daily routine separately so you let me know in the comment section if you guys want a video on this particular topic separately i am more than happy to do that so these are the 10 questions that i have picked up and i try to answer them i hope you guys have liked this video i hope i have answered all your questions and that is it for the video guys i hope you guys liked this if you did please give it a like and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any further questions do let me know that in the comment section i'll make videos on that as well so do let me know your opinion about vlogs i'm looking forward to that so that is it for the video i will see you guys very soon till then you take care i will see you soon bye